Hi, VancouverWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Friday afternoon, December 2nd. An Arctic blast will cross the nation next week, reaching the Mid-Atlantic region during the latter part of the week, probably around the Thursday time frame. By Friday, we'll be in the deep freeze. This Arctic air will first be felt this weekend in Alaska with some temperatures as low as 50 degrees below zero by early Monday morning. That Arctic air will dive into the western U.S. early next week, cross the nation, and reach the mid-Atlantic region around the Thursday time frame. And by Friday, again, we'll be in the deep freeze way below normal for this time of the year. Let's first start off by looking at the low temperatures over the next few mornings across the state of Alaska. This is where the, this brutal Arctic air will first be felt. This is the forecast from the latest GFS, the 12Z GFS, for low temperatures as of tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. And some impressive numbers here. Here's zero degrees here and as low as 28 degrees below zero across northern Alaska. We go out 48 hours to Sunday morning and those 20s and 30s, even to 42 degrees below zero as of Sunday morning across Alaska as that brutal Arctic air works its way through the state. And by Monday morning, notice a reading here of 51 degrees below zero. This is again from the very latest GFS model run, the 12Z uh, GFS model run. These are the forecast low temperatures for Alaska by uh, this weekend. And this is 51 degrees below zero as of Monday morning. Now here's the cold temperature anomalies, the uh, 850 millibars, about 5,000 feet in the atmosphere from the very latest ensemble run of the GFS model. And this is very impressive for the expansion of this Arctic blast. First again, it crosses Alaska this weekend, arrives in the northwestern part of the U.S. and then just dives to the south and east. A couple things you want to point out. First of all, this loop runs from Saturday afternoon to Friday afternoon. So what we're seeing here is a six-day loop of the temperature anomalies from the ensemble run of the GFS. And that's important because the ensemble run tends to smooth things out, especially as you go farther and farther out in time. So the fact that we're seeing some as low as 15 or 20 degrees Celsius below normal for this time of the year on the ensemble run is quite impressive indeed. Another thing I want to point out here is notice how far to the south this cold arctic blast ends up all the way down into Texas by the middle of next week even into northern Mexico they're seeing effects of this arctic outbreak way down into the deep south again it looks like we'll warm up briefly ahead of the arctic blast here Looks like the colder air arrives here in the Thursday, Friday time frame. By Friday, we'll be in the deep freeze. Perhaps temperatures struggling to get past a freezing mark for highs on Friday and perhaps Saturday as well. Certainly confined to the 30s. A normal high right now at Philadelphia Airport is 50 degrees. So, yeah, we'll be some 10, 15, maybe even 20 degrees Fahrenheit below normal at the end of the upcoming week. So again, it goes all the way down into Texas, northern Mexico, and throughout the deep south. Certainly, uh, we'll see some record low temperatures in the path of this Arctic blast next week, especially down in the deep south. Well, let's take a look at the latest GFS model run. This is from 12Z. We'll look at 24-hour increments beginning with Sunday morning, and then go all the way to Friday morning. Again, by Friday morning, we ought to be in the deep freeze here in the uh, mid-Atlantic region. Sunday morning, high pressure continues to dominate the scene all weekend long, basically slightly colder than normal conditions and dry conditions for the remainder of today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Pretty much on the chilly side for this time of the year. An expansive area of moisture as of Sunday morning down across the south-central U.S., Looks like it's headed our way. Indeed, it is headed our way, but we'll see in a moment that it tends to weaken quite a bit, It'll fall apart quite a bit by the time Monday morning rolls around. Let's jump ahead now to the Monday morning forecast map. And here it is. By Monday morning, the GFS is depicting a little bit of light snow up across northern Pennsylvania and northwestern uh, sections of uh, New York State. 
but not all that much, if any, in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City metro region, a little bit just to the south of uh, the D.C. metro area. The bottom line here, this first system, Sunday night, early Monday, is a weakening system. Could throw a few snow or rain showers in the I-95 car to Sunday night, early Monday. Not a big deal at all. Notice, though, a lot of moisture hanging back here across the deep south. Indeed, there's a second system. Let's now jump ahead to Tuesday. And here's the forecast map for Tuesday morning. This is indeed a more important system, a healthy-looking system. Tuesday morning, high pressure retreating here across New England. Notice kind of a damming pattern setting up here. Still some cold air associated with that high pressure system, uh, especially along the eastern slopes of the Appalachian Mountains. And this is cold air. So initially, when this uh, moisture advances north and east, a lot of it will be some snow to break out well north and west of the big cities, but indeed upstate Pennsylvania, upstate New York, for example, interior sections of northeastern Pennsylvania can get some accumulating snow later Tuesday into Tuesday night. But another thing I want to point out and notice the state of Tennessee under some heavy rainfall. That is good news indeed. The entire south central and southeastern U.S., will benefit from more rainfall, substantial rainfall, on the Tuesday uh, time frame. They've, of course, been quite dry over the last several weeks. This does make it. It does not weaken like the first system does. It does make it into the Mid-Atlantic region, and we'll have another decent rain event here, uh, at least in the immediate I-95 corridor, later Tuesday into Tuesday. And that, again, well to the north and west. There could be some snow associated with this retreating cold air mass. Now here's the forecast map for Wednesday morning. By this time the leading uh, frontal system associated with that Arctic air is already working its way into the mid-Atlantic region. The GFS frankly is a little bit faster than European model with this but bottom line here it looks like the cold air starts to arrive by about Thursday and by Friday we'll be in the deep freeze here. Could be a few rain or snow showers ahead of the frontal system and then the colder air starts to move in maybe a few snow showers behind the frontal system do not expect a lot of snow associated with this arctic blast and let's now jump ahead to the thursday morning forecast map and here we go by thursday morning colder air moving across the great lakes into the mid-atlantic region we're already starting to cool down here with that arctic outbreak notice the blue line here, the zero line, thickness line at 850 millibars, all the way down into the deep south. And all this backed up by a very strong Arctic high across western Canada come Thursday morning. Again, we're now talking six days out. Let's now jump ahead one week out to next Friday morning. Well, here we go. By next Friday morning, seven-day forecast here from the latest 12Z GFS model run. A couple things to point out here. First of all, the coldest core of the air looks like it's situated right here in this part of the eastern U.S. So indeed, very cold uh, air headed our way for by Friday. We'll be in the deep freeze here, perhaps not even being able to pass the, the freezing mark in many parts of the I-95 car. They're certainly confined to the 30s. Notice also piece of this high pressure dives all the way down into the deep south. This spells trouble for the deep south. This whole region right here could see uh, certainly some record-breaking uh, cold by the end of the work week. That Arctic blast goes all the way down to Florida, Texas, northern Gulf of Mexico region, even into northeastern Mexico. And again, by Friday, we'll be in the deep freeze. Now, in terms of potential for snow, first ingredient around here in the mid-Atlantic region is to get cold air established. Indeed, this Arctic outbreak certainly should do that by the end of next week. The following weekend, cold air will certainly be established. That cold air is likely to modify. In fact, there's no doubt it'll modify because it'll be so cold that uh, it will almost have to modify. But I do expect that we'll stay in a colder than normal pattern once this Arctic blast arrives here. So the, the, the week following this Arctic blast, the week uh, beginning on the uh, Sunday the 11th, Monday the 12th, certainly looks like there can be one or more opportunities for snow. Again, by that time, cold air will be established here in the eastern U.S. So a, a widespread Arctic outbreak next week will cross the nation 
reach our region in the latter part of the week in Thursday, Friday time frame. Stay tuned to VencorWeather.com for updates over the next several days. That's it for now. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.